Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with JSON data. So how you can take JSON data from the internet and use it in your app in order to display fresh and up-to-date data. So if that is something you want to know how to do and learn how to do, then just keep watching. So let's get cracking by creating a new Xcode project. So let's double tap right here, make it a single view application. I'm going to call this uh, JSON fun next and I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Okay, so the only file that we are going to use in this tutorial is the view controller file. We're, we're not going to care about the storyboard, we're just going to focus on the view controller. So, and everything is going to happen in the view that load method. So the results that we're going to see are going to be visible in our log. Okay, so JSON involves getting some data uh, that is uh, formatted in a certain way from a website. So the website that we are going to use in this tutorial is this one right here, uh, where we can get the latest currencies uh, from euros to almost the major currencies. So what we are going to try to do is if we were to create a currency converter, this would be ideal because this would let us um, get data from this website constantly so that our numbers are constantly updated. So what we want to do is we want to get these numbers right here. So let's get cracking by copying this address right here. And um, if you're familiar with downloading content from the internet, the first part will be very, very familiar. It's only uh, later that we're going to do something JSON specific. So let's first create the URL. Let URL is equal to URL from string. And our string is our website. Let's see. There we go. So here we have our URL. Now we're going to create the task. So let task is equal to URL session dot shared dot data task and we want this one right here and the URL is our URL and I'm going to get me some more space here here we are going to get three variables returned data if the operation was successful we will get some data we'll get a response and we will get hopefully not but we might get an error and that's what we're going to check for immediately so we see if error is not equal to nil which means there was an error then we're going to process that in any way we like error i'm just going to print it to the logs so that we're notified that there has been an error and then if there isn't an error error an error we are going to write else and we're going to see if this has some problems with our url insert yep we need to insert an exclamation mark just to say that we're sure that this is a valid url and then else, if everything was successful, we are going to try to get the data. So we're going to say if let content is equal to data, which means we're trying to pass the data to our content variable. And if that works, that means that we have some content that we now can operate with. And what we're going to do is we're literally going to write do and then we're going to try to convert it into an array that we can work with. So a JSON array. And this is where it gets JSON specific. So we're going to write let my JSON or whatever you want to call your variable. I'm going to say JSON is equal to. And we're going to try to say JSON. Let's see. Serialization dot JSON object with. Let's see this one with content which is our data right up here and then the option is going to be json serialization reading options dot let's see dot muta, uh, mutable containers what that means really doesn't matter too much just make sure and then we have to convert it to an any object before I forget that. Okay, so here we are basically taking our content, which is pretty useless up to this point, 
and we're converting it to an more or less an array that we can work with and that we can extract some data from. And if that doesn't work, we're just going to write catch and somehow catch the error. Okay, so this is our setup right now. And just to see that everything works as we want it to, we are going to try to print this data right here. So we're going to try to print my JSON. And before I launch the app, there's something that we have to do. And that is because this is an HTTP and not an HTTPS, we have to allow our app to open it. So we just head over to info.plist and we write allow arbitrary loads let's see no let's see app trans transport security settings right and then we click down the down arrow right here then click plus and then we write allow arbitrary loads and set that to yes and now let's try to launch the app and hopefully we will have some json data there was one thing that we forgot to do and that was to head down here let's see just have to write it in the right place and we have to write task dot resume to start the session. So let's launch it again. Okay, so here is our app, but the interesting stuff happens right here. And as you can see, this is our JSON array that we just created uh, or got from the internet. And as you can see, here are a number of variables like base and date. And then we have the rates here in a type of dictionary and that's all we've got right there. So what I want to do is I only, I, I only want the rates. So I'm now going to turn them into a dictionary that I can operate with. So let's do that right now. So we have the JSON data and now we're going to get one thing out of that JSON data. And I do that by saying if let, and I'm going to call this dictionary rates is equal to my JSON and I want the rates just as it uh, stands right here, the rates. And I want to try to convert that to an NS dictionary. And then if everything was successful and we were able to take this section right here and convert it to an NS dictionary and pass it to this rates variable, then I am going to print it out, first of all just to see that everything is working as it should, which is always a good idea. So let's try to run it one more time. Okay, so this is what we got returned. And as you can see, it's the exact dictionary that we want, which is awesome and is great. And from now on, if you know how to work with dictionaries, this is just like working with a normal dictionary. But just to take it one step further, I'm going to show you how to extract a certain data from this dictionary. And I'm going to do that by creating another if statement. I'm just going to say if let currency is equal to rates, which is our dictionary. And I'm going to get the value for the key, uh, let's say great British pounds. Uh, let's see, bam. And I am going to just print that out, print currency. And uh, let's remove, oh, this is fine as it is. So now I'm going to try to extract Great British Pounds out of the out of my dictionary. And I'm going to print it to the logs just to see that everything was successful. So let's see, and here we go. Here is the, the current rate for from euro euros to great british pounds so everything is working as it should and from now you can just do whatever you want with it uh, but as you can see json is incredibly powerful because it lets you uh, add an element of um, you, you can just update variables in your app to keep it up to date and to keep it as useful as possible. And that was really all of the JSON stuff that I wanted to show you. Now, from now on, you can, you know, extract all the data you want. You can also take Norwegian Kroner, <laughs> Kroner um, you know, all types of, um, of variables that are in this dictionary right here. And just to make everything clear, I'm going to go through all of the code one more time. I just try to launch the app and see if I can get 
and here we go here's another currency for knock but i'm just going to go through the code one more time just to explain everything to make everything crystal clear here so we start with an url and then we create a task and open a browser in the background that gets data from that website and if there was an error we print that if it wasn't an error we try to pass the data that we got returned to a variable named content and if that works that means we have some data and we're going to try to convert that data into an array now if that also was successful we are going to try to convert it to a dictionary by doing this right here and then if that was successful we are going to try to extract an element by using the object uh, id which is in this case knock in order to get the value that we want so that's really all there is to json as you can see it's really not that hard it's uh, just this last stuff right here that is json specific all else you will be familiar with if you have worked with browsers or url sessions before so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for future videos and thank you for watching